critical condition after getting stuck in an elevator shaft at a home in St. Pete's in a St. Pete neighborhood. Happened last night, but now fire rescue is describing how they were able to finally free that child. They're also calling into question whether a recent recall might be related to this incident. And Fox 13's Dan Maddox explains. Firefighters got the 911 call and rushed to Brightwaters Boulevard on Snell Island in St. Pete, where they learned a child was stuck in an elevator. The child was actually stuck. Uh, between the uh, in the shaft between the elevator and the actual house trapped between the first and second floor rescuers weren't able to operate the elevator so what they did is we used the, our tools we used the sawzalls we used hydraulic tools uh, spreaders able to uh, remove uh, the child from the elevator paramedics were standing by and rushed the child to john hopkins all children's hospital authorities would not identify the child's age or gender but say the child is in critical condition this is obviously a uh, a very uh, strange occurrence of something that's happening uh, prevention would be anything dangerous within the house it's unclear what kind of elevator was inside the home or how the child became trapped but certain residential elevators have been the focus of voluntary recalls. It was a newer model, and we can tell you in January, the Consumer Product Safety Commission announced three separate voluntary recalls of about 69,000 residential elevators. Their website shows a similar scenario where a child is trapped between an exterior landing or hoistway door and an interior elevator cart door due to a hazardous gap. Again, it's unclear if the elevator in this case was recalled. That's a question for a later time. Right now, we're told the focus is on the child's recovery. In St. Pete, Dan Maddox, Fox 13 News. We did put a link to that recall warning on our website, fox13news.com. St. Pete police are also reviewing the case, but say so far it just appears to be a horrible accident. And we've got